Hey everyone, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna have a look over sensor MPU 6000. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and click on the search button for this sensor. And we have our sensor that is MPU 6000, aka MPU 6050. It's a six axis motion tracking sensor having three axis gyroscope and accelerometer. So I will be interfacing this sensor with an Arduino Nano today. For that, uh, Arduino code is required. So go to the source tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on it and you can download this as a zip file. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections which we require for this project and proceed further. Coming to the connections part, first of all we require an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield for the Arduino Nano. This is available on our website controleverything.com. The reason we use this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So make the connection and gently put over the Arduino Nano over the shield like this. Now we require our sensor that is MPU 6000 and this is a connecting cable. Make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing goes for the I2C shield. Now our connection will look like this. Next to power up our Arduino Nano we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. So our connection segment is completed. Now let's proceed to our working code. Coming to the interfacing of the sensor with the Arduino Nano, we require the code. So for that, go to github.com and here search for control everything community repository and click on it. Next is our sensor that is MPU 6000 as you can see on my screen and click on it. Now this is our Arduino sensor we require. Let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install the Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the Arduino link which will help us to install the Arduino on our local machine. Please have a great look on this. Now get back to the Arduino code and our Arduino code is there with .il extension. The first thing you notice on our code is the inclusion of y.h library and the address of our sensor is 0x68. In the void setup function, we have initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. In the next part, which is the writing part, we have selected gyroscopic configuration based on having address 0x1b and we have written 0x18 which stands for full scale range of 2000 dps. Next, we have selected the accelerometer configuration based to having address 0x1c and we have written 0x18 for full scale range plus minus 16 in the next part we have our power management register having address 0x6b where we have sent the command for PLL will with x gyro reference that is 0x01 and the written part is here coming to the next section we have our void loop and here we have the data selection and from register 0x3 in the next we have requested and read 6 bytes of data and these 6 bytes constitutes for acceleration data and here is our conversion for acceleration data for x, y and z axis. Similarly, we have followed the suit for the gyroscopic rotation and here it is 0x43 raised to from where we have the data. In the next part, we have requested and read 6 bytes of data for the gyroscopic rotation and x, y, z axis conversion part are here. Now at the bottom of our code, we have our output data on the serial monitor in the form of acceleration for x, y and z axis and similarly rotation in x, y and z axis. So this is how our code works. Now let's proceed with its working. For the working part, first of all copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal which you can see on my screen and copy and paste and save this code and name it as you can see for the reference now verify and compile this Arduino code and now upload the Arduino code 
uploading is done now get back to serial monitor to see the result as you can see in the acceleration and the rotation in x y and z axis respectively now when i'm rotating it there's a change in acceleration as well in the rotation for the three axis and again rotating there is a change as you can see so this is how our code works with the sensor and uh, let's proceed further so we have just seen the working of motion tracking sensor MPU6000 being the world's first integrated 6 axis motion tracking device that combines 3 axis gyroscope 3 axis accelerometer and digital motion processor in a small package it's being adopted by smartphones and tablets manufacturer. They find use in large applications like enhanced gaming, augmented reality, vehicle, pedestrian navigation and so on. This product can be purchased from our website controleverything.com and the Arduino code is available on the same website. The code is also available on our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. Now, if you have any queries, you can contact us or reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments on our community page. You can check our articles, our blogs on hexter.io and also on instructables.com. To subscribe more video tutorials like these, go to our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a good day and thanks for watching.